Alright, so that I will be sharing how to make ube and pandan lamington. For the ingredients, we need 1 teaspoon of vanilla, 1 and a half teaspoon of baking powder, 1 4 teaspoon of salt, 6 tablespoon of sugar, 1 4 cup of vegetable oil, 6 tablespoon of water, 1 and 1 4 cup of cake flour, and 4 egg yolks. To begin, combine the cake flour the salt and the baking powder give it a mix and set this aside combine the egg yolks and the sugar and the vanilla give this a mix until the mixture turns into light pale yellow just like this and then add the oil mix well and then add the water Once everything is well combined, we can then sift in the dry ingredients. Using a rubber spatula, mix this until it is well combined. Now, set this aside while we move on to the meringue. For the meringue, we need 4 egg whites, 6 tablespoons of sugar, and half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Using an electric mixer, beat the egg whites, and egg whites until it is frothy. Once it is frothy, add the cream of tartar. If you don't have cream of tartar, you can use lemon juice or white vinegar. By the way, at this point, your oven should be preheated at 180 degrees Celsius. Now gradually add the sugar. Once the sugar is all in, continue beating this until we reach the stiff pick stage. And this is now the stiff pick stage. We are now then going to combine the egg yolk butter and the meringue into additions using the folding method. Be gentle when you mix this because we don't want to knock the air from the meringue. Um, do not over mix this and this is now ready to be baked we're going to transfer this into a pan lined with parchment paper I'm using 10 by 10 baking pan so we're going to bake this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes or until when you insert a skewer in the middle and the skewer comes out clean this is what it looks like after baking let it cool down completely once it's cooled down completely this is one important step we're going to cover this with cling wrap and we're going to put this in the freezer for at least one and a half or two and a half hours so it's the cake is easier to slice so after one and a half hours my cake is ready to be cut into um square pieces I personally like to trim the edges of the cake so now it's time to cut the cake into um 18 squares Cut it equally as best as you can. As you can see here in the video, I didn't do a proper job. Um, trim the top part of the cake or the side that gets golden brown.
Now we're going to move on to the icing. This is 500 grams of icing sugar. To this, I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of melted butter. And then slowly add um, fresh milk. Um, all in all, I use 8 tablespoons of fresh milk, by, uh, but I gradually add this. So here, I'm finally adding the 8 tablespoon of the uh, milk. So this is the consistency that I'm after. Um, the icing is not too runny. By the way, it is important to sift the icing sugar. I didn't sift my icing sugar, so there are some icing sugar that failed to dissolve. I'm going to divide the icing into two. One will be ube and one will be pandan. I'm using um, extract to flavor the icing. So for the ube, I'm using one and a half teaspoon ube extract. And then I also have desiccated coconut. I use about two to three um, cups of desiccated coconut. You might need more or less than that. So now to coat the cake, just drop um, the bottom of the cake into the icing and then lift it up using a fork. Then use the spoon to, to drizzle the icing to the rest of the cake so it's not too messy. Once there's no more drip, you can transfer the cake into the desiccated coconut to coat the lamington. This will be a little bit messy, so bear with me here. So transfer this into your um, serving platter one more time. So dip the bottom of the cake into the icing and then using a spoon, just cover the cake with the icing. Once there is no more drip, you can transfer this or roll this into the desiccated coconut. Now for the pandan um, flavored lamington, I'm using one teaspoon of pandan extract. But this, I mean, this is a paste, so it's very potent. If you're using pandan extract like McCormick, you might want to use food coloring. And do one and a half teaspoon as well. But if you're using the paste, you only need one teaspoon. So same procedure. this is the finished product this is so good i can guarantee that you're going to love this the cake is so light and the icing really complements the cake so just to show you what it looks like when you cut the cake in half or the lamington in half so light and airy Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!